right, you guys, welcome back. We are here with another iteration of the NFL Weekly Picks. This is our third week of doing it. Uh, this past week, we were 13 and three. Uh, one game worse than last week, or one game worse than the week before, I should say. But doing pretty damn nice this season. Hopping into this week, we've got tonight, we've got Tampa Bay Buccaneers against the Philadelphia Eagles. Buccaneers, secondary still needing help. I don't think uh, Jalen Hurts is uh, much of a weapon, honestly. Um, but I do think this will be a close game, but I do think the Buccaneers are going to pull it out tonight. So on Sunday, we have another London game. We've got Miami and Jacksonville. Uh, seems to be Jacksonville's second home. Uh, but uh, we're going with Miami in this one. Tua is supposed to be back. Uh, Jaguars, I mean, they've played pretty decent the past couple of weeks, but uh, I don't trust them just yet. Dolphins win that one. Uh, we got Kansas City against Washington in Washington. I think the Chiefs are going to win that one. Uh, they've looked pretty rough this season. They're sitting at 2-3 and three right now. Uh, they need to get back up to 500. They lose this one. I think there's going to be some panic in Kansas City. Chiefs win. Los Angeles Rams against the New York Giants. Giants are decimated by uh, injuries right now. I think Mike Glennon is uh, going to get that start. Uh, that'll be an interesting one. I've always been a Glennon fan, but let's face it, he is not that great. Rams are going to win that one. After that, we've got Houston Texans against Indianapolis Colts in Indianapolis. The Colts are going to run away with that one. And then we got the Bengals in Detroit. Detroit has lost some heartbreakers the past couple of weeks. They just keep finding ways to lose. Um, but I'm going to go with the Bengals in this one. I think Detroit keeps that losing streak going, but I do think this one could be a close game. I think Detroit could easily upset the Bengals, but I am going to go with the Bengals in this one. Hopefully Joe Burrow can uh, stay alive because that O-line has not done him any favors since he's been there. Green Bay Packers against the Chicago Bears. Big time rivalry. Bears, I, I like the defense. I think they'll give Aaron Rodgers some issues, but uh, I, I don't trust the Bears' offense. So in this one, I'm gonna stick with the Packers. I trust Aaron Rodgers. Uh, he'll find a way to get it done. We've got another tough game here for the Chargers. Uh, they've had quite a few tough games. They've really got a vicious schedule this year, but they've still managed to look pretty damn good so far. Chargers going up against the Baltimore Ravens. This is gonna be another good game. Another week, uh, game of the week, really. Uh, it's two in a row for the Chargers, uh, but I'm going to pick the Chargers in this one. I think they run away with it. I like them, man. The Chargers and Bills are looking like the two best teams in the NFL right now, so it's going to be a very interesting uh, race here towards the end of the year. Uh, Minnesota going into Carolina. Minnesota's going to come away with that victory. I don't trust Sam Darnold. I'm not sold on him. McCaffrey, they still don't know if he's playing. I'm going with Minnesota. Arizona versus the Browns. This is another good game, but I'm going to go with the Cardinals in this one. I like them right now. They are looking pretty damn good. Uh, I thought they'd be the third best team in that league, uh, or that division, excuse me. But uh, now with Russell Wilson injured, uh, they have definitely moved past the Seahawks. Geno Smith, I'm not trusting whatsoever. Uh, so the Cardinals, moving on up. They're going to beat the Browns in this one. Uh, we've got the Raiders against Denver in Denver. If the Raiders can pull this off, that'd be crazy, considering everything that's going on with Gruden. But uh, I'm going Denver in this one. They're at home. I think they're a little bit of an underrated team. I don't think they're very good. Um, but the Raiders have always said that they're kind of overrated. Uh, and that now with this whole Gruden deal, who the hell knows what's happening there this year? Broncos win that one. We got the Cowboys going into New England. Uh, New England, let's just say they're struggling. Um, they just don't have the talent. They don't have it yet. Belichick has not been good drafted, let's face it. When you have Brady, you can make mistakes. You can't do that when you don't have Brady. So, he has struggled the past couple of years. Cowboys get the win in this one. Uh, we got the Seahawks and the Steelers in the night game. Uh, realistically, I was going to go with the Seahawks at first, but now that I know that Geno Smith is in there, I'm just, uh, I'm going Steelers. Uh, I'm not very comfortable on that pick, but I do think the Steelers get what I, I guess is now, maybe it's still an upset. I would assume it's still an upset. Steelers get the win in that one. Monday night game, we've got another good one. Uh, it's Buffalo Bills against the Tennessee Titans. I'm going to go with Buffalo in this one. I, as I said, them and the Chargers are the two best teams in the NFL right now, uh, followed closely by the Cardinals. I know the Cardinals have an undefeated record, but I do think that they are still one notch below. 
Bills are going to win this one. Tennessee has just not looked that great this year. Um, A.J. Brown has not done much at all receiving. Uh, Derrick Henry looks great as always, but uh, you would have thought with Calvin Ridley coming over that they'd be really uh, putting up some stats with that offense, and they just haven't done it yet. So Buffalo Bills win this one. Who do you guys have this week going in with your picks? Let me know down below. If you enjoyed the video at all, hit that like and subscribe button. I would appreciate it. Um, let's see how we do this week. I'm not as confident this week as I have been in the past, but we've had a pretty good track record so far this year. So let's hope that stays true. I will see you guys next time. Have a good evening.